Hey guys, this is Tracy with LuLaRoe Tracy Raper. I was going to try to do a Facebook video for you to explain how we rigged up our trailer for transporting clothes to pop-ups. However, I couldn't get it to work within the comment feed, so I'm just going to show you what we have rigged up and explain it to you, and then you can leave comments with any questions that you might have. So I'm going to flip you around. So our trailer is... I want to say six by ten, eight by ten. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a builder, but this is it. So I'm going to kind of show you the system that we've rigged up. So my husband and father-in-law have put this board a little bit away from the side so that our racks don't roll into the side of the trailer, and then have set up like a little path for the tra for the racks to go straight into the trailer and in order to put the racks in the trailer it kind of takes two people so that they're weighted evenly on both sides and you can get them to go in without sliding and then up here they have a little track and they put these little notches in so that my racks fit directly into the wall and that kind of helps with the sliding as well they measured so that they were the appropriate length apart and wouldn't have issues with everything bumping together. Um, they've also created this board at the end where one at a time I put all of the pieces, the end pieces of the racks in there. After I have slid the racks into the trailer already and that's just kind of a, the final step to keep them from moving. Um, during travel, I say the final step. However, uh, I also have a ratchet system here. This ratchet system does not directly touch any of the clothes. It's up a little bit and then it rests on my wood board here. I'm going to walk you into the trailer to the back. And then we're also using a bungee cord system here that we've installed. And this basically just wraps around the racks and it keeps this back rack in place while I'm driving. And if the back rack stays put, the rest of them will since they're all connected. I also have bungee cords over where the hangers are. This keeps my hangers from coming off the rack while driving. So that's really nice too. And then I have leggings bins and I've taken one of them out so that I could walk through. And then if I'm going further than like say 20, 30 miles, I have this piece that will connect to the bottoms of my racks there for extra security but honestly I, I don't always use it. I've made it like 30 miles um, without much trouble. So that's kind of what we've done. The thing on the side of the trailer there that I showed you guys is this. This is a five foot horizontal e-track. You can get them at Menards and they just um, screw right in to the trailer so that's what this is up here and then you've got your ratchet system um, they can teach you how to use this at the hardware store actually and I can't use it one-handed but this loosens and tightens as needed or I can just disconnect it up here when I go to a pop-up so that is my system if you have any questions please comments on this feed or just send me a message and I will help you out the best I can. Thanks.